First really important factor when forecasting the surf is the swell. Now swell is created by wind out in deep open ocean storms and the strength and height of the swell is going to be determined by the strength of the wind and the distance across which that wind blows. If we take two similar sized swells, one day that swell might create clean waves at the beach and another day that swell might create messy waves and one of the reasons for this can be the fetch zone that that swell has travelled across. The fetch zone of a swell is the distance over which it travels from the initial storm to where it makes landfall and becomes waves. Now what's going on in this fetch zone is going to dictate whether that swell arrives at the beach clean or whether it's messed up. This brings us nicely onto long and short period swells. The longer the fetch zone, so the longer that swell has to travel, the bigger the period between each line of swell is going to be, so that swell is going to become further apart, meaning the longer the fetch zone, the more powerful and actually cleaner the surf is going to be. If there's a lot of wind blowing over that fetch zone, then the swell that arrives at the beach is going to be quite messy. However, if there's no wind and that fetch zone is very calm, it's going to be quite clean. Swell direction is really important, so if we've got a three foot swell travelling directly to the beach we want to surf, we might actually get three foot waves. However, if that swell is not travelling directly to the beach we want to surf, then the likelihood is all of that swell isn't going to reach the beach. Also, at the same time, we can have two different swells impacting on the same beach, so what we might notice is a crossover or doubling up of swells. This would create unclean and disorganised waves.